Hey guys, I'm Akshay from Bebom.com and well, I am finally back from my road trip to China from where I got some cool car gadgets. Just kidding, I didn't actually drive all the way to China but I do have some cool Xiaomi car gadgets to show you guys. Five of them actually. So let's jump right in. But before we do that, how about you hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now that you've done that, let's get started. So first off, I want to show you this really cool wireless car charger from Xiaomi. I've been using this for quite some time and it's really amazing. Like the name suggests, this is a wireless charger for your car. But the coolest thing about it is that it comes with sensors that lets it do this. Yeah, see that's cool, right? It's almost like that scene in Harry Potter where Harry says to his uncle, it was like magic. One minute the glass was there and then it was gone, it was like magic. Except this isn't magic, it's just sensors and motors doing their thing. It can charge your phones wirelessly at up to 20 watts, which isn't really something I could use on my iPhone. Thanks, Apple. But I did test it out on the Galaxy S10e, which supports 15 watt fast wireless charging, and it went from 15% to 53% in just around 40 minutes, which is pretty good. What's more, the charger uses USB C to connect to the car, which is something I personally love. And I also really like this blue LED light ring. This just looks really cool to me. The Xiaomi wireless charger is priced at 169 yuan in China, which is around 1700 rupees. I don't know about you, but I usually snack a lot when I'm driving. It's just a lot of fun, but it also means that there are crumbs everywhere. If you're in the same boat as I, well, check this out. This is the CleanFly portable vacuum cleaner, and I mean, just look at it. It's minimal, it's matte grey, it almost looks like something out of a Men in Black movie. See ya. Anyway, it's not just cool looking, it's also very useful. You can easily clean your car with this vacuum cleaner thanks to its small design that lets it get into places a regular vacuum cleaner will have trouble getting into. Plus, it comes with this brush attachment that's great for cleaning out the foot mat. The vacuum cleaner charges through your car's charger port in around one and a half hours and lasts almost around 15 minutes more or less, which is long enough to properly vacuum a small car like mine. If you have a big car, the 15 minute time might be a problem though. The CleanFly vacuum cleaner is priced at 199 yuan in China. That's around 2000 rupees, which is an amazing price for this. Then there's this. For a long time, this thing was just kept at our office and everyone kept wondering what it could be. I mean, it looks really cool. My best guess was like it was a smart speaker of some sort or maybe a walkie-talkie. Turns out, it's a tyre inflator. Yeah, that's one cool-looking tyre inflator from Xiaomi. Now, personally, I've been using one from Amazon Basics for a long time. But this Xiaomi tyre inflator just makes me want to steal it. I mean, look at it. It's so small and perfectly portable. True, it charges over micro USB for some reason, but it's downright adorable looking. It's also very sturdily built, so I can throw it in the trunk and not worry about breaking it. It has a 2000 mAh battery inside, which Xiaomi claims can inflate 5 car tyres in one charge, and it does easily inflate 2 to 3 tyres in a single charge, although I haven't used it too thoroughly. There is one issue though, it takes a very long time to inflate tyres, which can get annoying. It's great for emergencies though, and honestly that's what it's for. It can also inflate balls, bicycle tires and bike tires with preset recommended values. Similar to the vacuum cleaner, this is also priced at 199 yuan in China, which is rupees 2000, which is the same price as that Amazon Basics inflator I have. And that just makes me sad. Before we move on, let me tell you that this video has been sponsored by Bulbul Shop, an online video shopping app that brings quite a twist to shopping. See, in the Bulbul Shop app, you get a live product demo video for every single product. For example, this is a budget tripod from Bulbul and thanks to the video demo, you can get a good idea of all its features before you buy it. Plus, you can comment on these product videos, ask questions live, get exciting discounts and more. We have the same tripod here with us and it's pretty good for the price. And as you can see, it works exactly like we saw in the video demo. Well, you can find the link to it in the description and also install the app for more such products. And yeah, Bulbul offers a discount of 55 rupees on the first purchase, so check it out. Have you ever gone on a long road trip with your friends and ended up arguing over who gets to use the car charger to charge their phone? Well, I have and that's exactly why this Xiaomi car charger comes in handy for me. 
It has two USB A ports, both of which support Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0, and there is a USB C connector here as well, but it's not a USB C port. This is actually a male USB C port, which means you can't plug in your smartphone's charger into this. Instead, there's a Xiaomi accessory which plugs into this and expands the charger for rear passengers. It's a novel idea, but I'm sure that could have been done with a USB C female port as well. This is probably just so people have to buy that Xiaomi accessory. Anyway, the charger itself is really good. It has a metal build, it's very solid, and it's surprisingly heavy for its size. The LED light ring around the edges is a beautiful touch. And the best part, it supports QC 3.0 on both the ports simultaneously, so you can fast charge two smartphones at the same time. Awesome, right? Xiaomi sells this charger for 69 yuan, which is around 700 rupees. Lastly, there's the Mi Dash Cam 1S, which is pretty much what you'd expect a Dash Cam to be. And just like every other Xiaomi car gadget we've seen so far, this too is classy and well designed. There's a large 3 inch display on the back, a lens with a 140 degree field of view on the front, built in speaker, voice control, and a battery built in as well. You just put in a micro SD card in there and it keeps recording continuously, which is great since you don't have to worry about deleting older recordings manually. The problem is that it's in Chinese and there's no way to change the language to English. So you're gonna have to use Google Translate a lot to first start using the dash cam. After that though, you can connect it with the Mi Home app and view all the recorded clips and even control the camera with your phone. It's pretty nice. But the biggest issue I have with the dash cam is that I need to wire it all the way from the windscreen to the side, all the way down to the 12 volt outlet in the center. It's just a lot of wiring and it's the sole reason why I am not going to use it any longer. The Mi Dash Cam 1S is priced at 299 yuans, which is around 3000 rupees. And if you don't find the wiring, you can go ahead and buy this. I'll drop the links to all the products in the description down below, but keep in mind that a lot of these products are priced higher in Indian rupees and they may take a long time to get delivered here in India. Ours took around a month, so make sure you're prepared for that. Anyway, those were the five Xiaomi car gadgets that I've been using and I really, really like them. Especially the wireless car charger and the vacuum cleaner, which are my personal favorites. There's also this car inverter, which is great for road trips because it brings a power socket that you can use to charge your devices. But you'll need an adapter to use Indian plugs with it because it's a Chinese style socket. So which gadget did you like the most? Let me know in the comments. Also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends who are looking for cool and useful gadgets for their cars. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.